Oh my goodness. So I have kind of let this studio get a little bit out of hand. Um, you know, because of my being sick and everything, I have just not been keeping up with putting things away. You know, I come in here just to shoot my videos and try to get it done before completely losing it. <laughs> um, you know, meaning energy. And so, and then I don't clean up after myself. So I am also, I'm in the process of rearranging this studio and working differently sitting down. One of the things that I learned during this uh, minor illness was that I really wished I was sitting down. So uh, I want to be able to eventually get a sit-stand desk, but first I wanted to see if this would even work. If this works, then I will replace this desk with a sit-stand desk. Good idea? Anyway, <laughs> um, so one of the things, one of the problems of being a jelly printer uh, is that you get tons and tons of paper, like tons of paper. So what ends up happening is you get overwhelmed. I mean, anybody that has a home office uh, knows, or any kind of office knows that paper is the hardest thing to manage on a daily basis. It's like you get, um, you just get overwhelmed. I mean, it's, it's crazy. So, and this studio is definitely overwhelming at this time. And I am going to try to get this video done quickly. And then I'm going to start purging. I'm going to, I'm also getting some, a new couple of p new pieces of furniture that are going to help me organize. Um, I do have too many, too many art supplies. I know that, but a lot of it, um, you know, when I used to just be a painter and not making videos, I was, I limited how much paint I bought and all I used was canvas, paint, mediums, and some brushes. But now I've got three jelly plates. I've got many different kinds of papers. And then the result is all of this paper. So I like to store them. Oh, here's a nice clean one. Um, I like to store them by color. So what I thought I would do today is start to sort. Now, it's hard sometimes because a paper, like, like what do I do? Do I store this with the red or do I store this with the yellow? You know, I'm probably going to store it with the yellow. Um, this is a very neutral paper, so I'm going to, I have a box that's just for neutrals. And, you know, here, here's like a multi, so I have... A multi box that has that I know has more than two colors if it just has two colors like this one I pick the dominant color and I put it in that box and so and, and then I have a drawer in the Alex drawers that is my most recent papers so and I and I just leave them in there for maybe a couple of months because those are my go-to immediate papers. Like, I'll go there first if I'm looking to do a collage because those are the most recent ones and probably the ones I'm happiest with. Um, if I don't find what I'm looking for there, then I go into my boxes. So let me show you what the box looks like. I got them on Amazon. And they fit in my Calyx unit. And what I do is I label it here on, on one end. It has a flap. They come to you completely flat and you have to put them, you have to just kind of put them together, fold them into place and they come with, you know, self-adhesive. So this one said yellow, but this is green. So this is like mislabeled, but all my yellow papers are in here. And some of these are very old. Well, when I say very old, like last year. <laughs> so I'm going to put this in here. And it's a little bit short for my, um, you know, very long rice papers. But that's okay. And I'm even going to keep this because I love that kind of a thing. So I, so 
I have a, a blue box, blue box, a green box, a red box, a black and white box, a neutral box, and a multi box. And then I, I am going to create one for deli papers, like a transparency box. So that just has deli papers in it, which is probably going to be way too stacked with papers. Anyway, so we're right now, all I'm going to do is sort. So this I would also consider a neutral paper. And this is multi. God, I, I forgot how much fun these were. This I'm going to put in with the blue. So these are all blues. Obviously this is red. And these are deli. So the delis are going to be easy. I'm just going to pull out anything that looks like deli. And I might have to trim these down as well. Um, okay, here's another red one. Deli. I'm going to put this with the neutral. So anyway, this helps me. This is a red. This it does help um, when I suddenly want if I'm doing a collage and I suddenly need a paper. Just you know, and I know I need a bright green paper or whatever. I know exactly where to go find it. So this is green and blue, but I'm going to put it with the blue. Another deli. Wow, I forgot how nice this was. <laughs> so during this process, I get to fall in love with my papers all over again. Um, and this is something I really should do more often. And um, and I don't I don't do it often enough. Okay, I said I was going to put this with the. Mm. All right, let me let me. This table's not big enough. This is going to be blue. This is multi. This, so this teal color, is it blue? Is it green? I don't know. To me, this is more greenish. So I'm going to, yeah, even this is kind of greenish, but these are definitely blue. I'm even going to put this in with the blue. I'm laying them out on the floor. These are all blue. Oh, what did I do? These are. These are blue. This is multi. I'm going to put the multi pile right here. Okay, this is kind of, let me see. Do I have orange box? I might have an orange box. I do. I'm going to put this in with the orange box as well as this and this. I'm going to put this in with neutral, blue, blue, okay here's another deli, another one back here. So the nice thing is, um, you know, when I need a transparent paper, having the delis all in one box is going to make it really easy for me. It just might be, the box might be a little too small. Anyway, this is a neutral. Red. So this one here is like yellow and red and a lot of black. But um, I'm still going to put it in with the red. And this, I'm going to put it in with the multis just because I'm, all right, this is orange. And I'm not sure. I 
This I'm going to put in with orange. I'm going to... So I have some of these, okay, really dark papers. Oh, and I have these. This is multi for sure. <clears throat> Neutral. Trash. Okay, all these multis. Now, even though these are on deli, I'm going to just put them in with the multis because they are not really transparent. And here's our blue. Uh, these two I still have to decide on. I think this one's going to go in with the orange. And this will go in with the blue. Most of my black papers are deli papers. But I have a couple of these that... Um, I was experimenting one day, so I'm not really even sure I'm ever going to use them because they're on copy paper, so I don't know. Uh, for now, I will keep them over on the side until I decide what to do. So this is just a start, but it gives you an idea of how I organize my papers. So here's my one of my blue boxes. And then they all stack on top of each other and they're labeled and they're getting full. So I'm maybe rethinking this in the future. But uh, for if you do, it depends on how many papers you have. I mean, this is still a lot of papers that each one of these is holding. Let's see if I can go up a little higher. Now, see, this could have been in the multi box, but wow, how come I didn't use that paper? I need to use that paper soon. I'm going to put it on top. Fun. So there was a time last year when I was making a lot of orange papers and not as much this year for some reason. I don't know why. Um, maybe it was more on my mind because I was working out of my living room. Okay, these are my multis. Anyway, my living room has an orange wall. I think it was influencing me a lot. Anyway, I have to get my... Um, label maker because this one doesn't have a label. I'm going to put a temporary label on it. Oh. And these are all of my deli papers, as you can see. It also doesn't have a label. So I'm going to put some Temporary. Hopefully this doesn't ruin the box. Oh, why is this? Why do I have two delis? Oh no, this is multi. Anyway, I'll show you how they look. If you have a Calyx unit from Ikea, they fit nicely in there. I really searched to find something that would fit in the Calyx unit. So here I have black and white. And I think I'm going to relabel this neutral because I just realized I don't have a neutral box. And I'm going to put this, these neutral papers in here. We're going to relabel this one. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's inside one of these units. You could fit a total of five in one section. So, I, I, like I said, I'm going to be reworking my Calyx units, my entire studio, 
to make it a little bit more efficient. Like right now, let's see if I can scan the room and you can see I started to move things around. I didn't get my new furniture yet. So, but this is my, my desk now. But look at what a mess this room is. But I will share with you in the next com coming weeks um, how I rearrange all of this. I'm going to make this top section, these three here on the top, are going to be nothing but paint. Right now, this one on the far right has just too much other, other junk that I hardly ever use. And it's in a really, you know, prime space. And I bought Nova paints. I need a place for them. So those are going to go over there. And some of the th other things like this paper thing isn't working because my rice papers, my deli papers don't fit in it. So I am going to utilize the top drawer of my Alex unit. So when I'm actually jelly printing, I pull this Alex unit out from here and put it over on the side, right, right here. And that way I have some place to lay the papers down. But in the top drawer, I can keep my rice papers and my deli papers so I can quickly grab. Okay, so I have to get back to work, but in the next couple of weeks, I should be finished with uh, reimagining this space and hopefully it will be more efficient because I've just kind of never got it right. I've been here almost a year and I never really got it right. And I've just signed a longer lease and I want to make sure that I spend the next year and a half getting it right and being the most efficient person in this small space. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know a lot of people wonder, what do you do with all these papers? Well, eventually they make it into collage, but in the meantime, you have to store them in some way and you need to be able to find them when you need them. That's why I like to sort them by color so that when I need that specific paper, that teal or that quinacridone red, I don't wanna be sorting through a very large pile of paper looking for that color. This way, by doing it in color, I can get back to work quickly. So keep that in mind. Now your color combinations might be different than mine, so you may have a different way of sorting your papers, but try to think about what is the easiest way that you can find the papers you're looking for and get back to work. All right, so that's it for today. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to create, inspire, and share. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.